What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to our Thursday content. Brand new packs, and we are taking a look at the player of the week pack and reviewing that first. So we're going to have a breakdown of this. To be honest with you, lads, apart from the free spin, which you can get with the event and clearing the event, if you have 100 coins or so and you haven't got the free Pavard, or also I think the pick of them is probably Simmons in here as well. There's a Simmons in there, a left midfielder Simmons or Rafinha. Both good players. Frimpong is pretty decent as well. I think it's a fairly disappointing player of the week. Obviously, next week we should have a couple of better players. I mean, Haaland should be there. We'll have a couple of more boys there as well. Um, but other than that, I don't think that this is a great pack. Depending on your journey with Dream Team and with your club, I think you probably will have better players than any of these players here if you've played the game for longer than a month. If you haven't and you're a newcomer, then there are some fairly decent players in here that you can build your squad around initially early doors, right? So we're going to do a comparison as well between the standard players and just show you guys a little bit of um, a little bit of kind of standard comparison of how players track up against these versions because these versions are kind of weird. I'll show you in a second. But we are going to kick off with Billing. Just your traditional whole player AMF. He's got average stats across the board, lads. I, I will, I'm not even going to pay much attention to him. Obviously, he's got excellent player skills, one-touch pass, weighted pass. He's also got dipping shot and soul control, which is decent because he is a fairly tall AMF. Kind of reminds me of Kaka. He's not blisteringly fast. Obviously, how Kaka played towards the end of his career. He's not blisteringly fast, but he's got excellent player skills. He's got fairly good at tackling and aggression as well because he can play DMF or CMF. But I don't think that he's going to be a player that you really get in. These players that are kind of utility players, they're not really, unless they have got like upper, upper stats or player skills, they're not going to really make it into your squad. I mean, you're, you're going to get be able to get a better DMF than him for standard GP. You're going to be able to get a better CMF and you're going to be able to get a better whole player AMF as well, which we'll show you in a second. So for me, it's not, it's, you know, it's a skip for that if you do spin him. We've also got Ramani. This guy is from Napoli. Fairly decent. He's tall. He's strong. He's aggressive. He's got tackling and defensive awareness. Pretty decent. He's got standard form. He has interception and blocker, which are two very good stats. I have an, uh, a really interesting defensive tutorial coming soon of how to train players and also a complete on the pitch guide as well. But yeah, again, he's your run of the mill you know center back the big thing with these player of the weeks lads is the a rating they're obviously going to be more up than not so you will be getting a boost to all their stats with the form arrows so yeah i mean other than that he's just a traditional kind of center back we've also got sirigu um 83 reflexes yeah not really worth saying too much about sirigu i i, I genuinely don't think that he's worth it if you do spin him i don't think you'll be probably playing him unless he's on a form and he's just your average goalkeeper we've also got lorente um, Lorente, is it Lorente or Lorente? I think it's Lorente. Um, this guy's got good pace, 89 acceleration, 89 balance, and 86 dribbling. So, which is, you know, that's pretty decent. He's also got a range of player skills. He doesn't have one touch pass as a left winger, which, you know, means we're going to have to use him just pure, pure pace. And he's fairly decent, man. He's actually not a bad player. He's a player that I've never really heard of before. Um, you know, so forgive my ignorance, but yeah, I mean, 24 year old, 24 year old, a form, not bad, fairly good player skills, but yeah, there is better than him out there. We've also got Openda. And this guy has got standard form as well, track back and super sub. So when a player has super sub, obviously it means a little bit different, uh, you know, of how you're going to use him. You're obviously going to be bringing him on in the second half. This guy's got 93 acceleration and 80 offensive awareness with 82 finishing. So I definitely think he's worth a pop, lads. If you do spin him, stick him on the bench, bring him on, see what he looks like, uh, you know, maybe 60, 70 minutes gone in the game. And I genuinely think you could have a big, big goal poacher on your hands here where he's not bad at scoring a few late goals. You know, if you don't have a previous super sub, I genuinely think he could be good. We've also got Frimpong. So Frimpong is probably one of the picks of this. Uh, very, very good player. Obviously, you're going to be wanting to get the ball out to his feet as often as possible. Now, I will say one thing about Frimpong, right? I think since the V2.4 update, whole player right-sided uh, midfielders... And left-sided midfielders are insane. I mean, I have Phil Foden, the player of the week from last week, and he was unreal. So I genuinely think I will I will probably try and spin for Frimpong um, because he's on A-form, because he can play, you know, that position, and he can also play right back. He's got 80 aggression. You could have a very kind of Roberto Carlos-esque right back there, apart from the kicking power and the actual, um, you know, blistering uh, speed. Well, he does have 90 speed, sorry. Um, but yeah, you're not going to have the passing uh, as high, you know, as a right midfielder. So you are going to have to kind of run the ball a lot. But he he kind of interests me a lot, right? One touch pass, first time shot. 
and also pinpoint crossing with speeding bullet amazing run so he's going to have some nice ai playing styles as well he is an intriguing player to get if you do spin him i genuinely think he could be a beast for you especially with the whole player we've also got Chilwell just to round him off with the left backs right a fairly standard left midfielder left back kind of hybrid player but he does have three very intriguing skills if you are going to be playing him as a left back or a left midfielder right which are quite rare to have full backs that have interception blocker sliding tackle and one touch pass on top of that he has pinpoint crossing and early crosser with speeding bullet so i think this is a very unique card i don't think that i've seen a card like this before um, where he kind of ticks all those boxes now the standard Chilwell isn't too bad either but this guy is a 93 a left midfielder is very 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 beastly and very intriguing again he's another one that i would definitely like to check out and play with him and see exactly how he handles i play with the standard version Chilwell, and he's not really great but this guy does look unique and he does have a lot of very kind of um you know a nice blend of everything you know the speed the dribbling the passing he has everything as a good base um so if you get that a form uh, and you get the a form arrow to get the boost you know you're nearly up to 90 speed and 86 acceleration which is quite decent stamina is going to be in the 90s with the a form arrow as well if you get it um so yeah he's a fairly decent player i'd love to try him out and uh, he could be like one of the best players in this pack as well we've also got trossard he's down as a center forward a deep line center forward which is another interesting player i've been kind of saying this for a while that these players should be very unique you know they should be different players that play in different positions have different skills just have a bit of fun with them man because there's so many different versions of these players on the database now that you need to do something different but trossard is going to play like kind of burkham plays he's going to be all about you know dribbling tight possession and ball control and then obviously the finishing is going to be high but the thing that i like about trossard is he has absolutely insane balance and acceleration and this is obviously because he's a shorter player any of the players under 175 have got good balance it seems um you know romario michael owen trossard Depay, any of these guys that are around that height, you know, that are kind of smaller. And then the big players like Haaland and Lewandowski, they kind of seem to be balanced by having their balance nerfed a little bit. So I do think that those stats, I mean, he suits as an AMF. I think this could be one of the best AMFs in the game, apart from the fact that he doesn't have one touch pass. That's the only thing that kills this card compared to some of the other guys, right? So speaking of the meta guys, we have got Rafinha, Pavard and Simmons. They're the three best picks. Now, I want to show you something real quick, right? So we've got Pavard here. Obviously, Pavard was available as a free as well, lad. So the free French version of Pavard, right? I want to show you something here, right? So this is maxed out free version Pavard. He's down as a right, uh, a right back as a 91 overall. But he's actually center back. He's a 95 overall. Now, this free pack was released a couple of weeks ago or maybe even a couple of months ago now. And it was a really good version of Pavard, right? If you look at his stats there, we have matched pretty much every stat that we could possibly want uh, with this Pavard, right? We've got 89 defensive awareness, 90 jumping and 82 heading. And with this one, we've got 89 defensive awareness, 90 jump, and 86 header in. We've also got 81 speed, 74 acceleration, and 84 stamina. And the same with this guy. We've got 81, 74, and 85 stamina. So they're extremely similar players. They can both play right back or center back. I think that the free Pavard is insane. So if you do have him, you know, I wouldn't bother spinning for this Pavard. People get obsessed sometimes with the overall card rating on the card. You know, they just get obsessed with it, but they don't look at the actual stats. I don't really need my Pavard to have better finishing. You know, this guy has got 68 finishing and this version has 61 finishing, right? On top of that, you know, we've also got stats that are going to be kind of bringing stuff up, such as curl, 77 curl compared to the free version of 72. And that adds to the overall... Um, rating of the card it it takes into an algorithm of overall as in how many max stats you have per category that's what it is and obviously you know when you ma match them up with your position uh defensive uh, stats are going to bring up the overall a lot quicker with a lot less you know progression points needed to be spent with defenders you know dribbling stats for amfs are going to boost up his overall massively so i would ge genuinely have a look at these players and think you can head over to football db um, and have a look at these players and compare them especially if you get two of these cards as well so just an interesting little point pavard is a fairly good player we've also got rafinha i've covered a lot of wingers on the game and i do think that rafinha is one of the better guys there he kind of rivals dembele with the pace the power the dribbling the skills the one touch pass chop turn double touch scissors faint cut behind and turn he's got everything that you could possibly want and heel trick so four or five of the best 
on the ball skill trick moves and then he's also got the speed and the balance and the dribbling to go along with it I would have liked to seen his finishing at maybe like 82 which would have meant you could have cut in a bit but he can play left and right wing so he def definitely gets a thumbs up from me and then last but not least we have got Xavi Simmons who has been one of my favorite players for a long time now Simmons is down as a left midfielder but he can play as an AMF as a whole player and I genuinely think that this guy could be meta as well especially if you're starting off and you already missed out on the other version of Simmons which was this version here um, we'll go over here now to eFootballDB. So this was the version that they released way back when it was for the nominating contract mid-season MVP. You could get him for a four-star nominating contract. We've done a comparison with the standard version. So this is standard Simmons, right? You've got 80 speed, 84 acceleration, 83 balance, 87 ball control, and 87 tight possession. With this version here, we've got a slightly better card in some um, versions, but it's it's almost an identical card. And on a, an identical card lads you've got your 80 speed which is matched your 84 acceleration which is matched stamina and balance are the exact same and then also on top of that we've got every other thing uh perfectly done as well apart from ball control and tight possession this card has one extra uh in it compared to the standard version of simmons and then also on top of that as well look what's bringing up this overall this is my point med for me this is what's bringing up this overall, right? It's the finishing, the curl, and the aggression. There's what's bringing up this card compared to this standard version, which has really low aggression, really low finishing, and really low curl. So, you know, if you're looking for an AMF, the standard version Simmons for 17,000 GP is a monster, lads, if you haven't, if you've missed out on this one. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another video. We've got a lot of cards to get through today. I will get them up as soon as I possibly can. We will be streaming later at 3 p.m., so in about six hours, we will be streaming. Um, so yeah, hope you, hope, the guy, hope to see you guys in the chat. And we will be back soon. I think that's everybody. Openda, yeah, we got everybody. So yeah, that's it for me, lads. I'll talk to you later. Peace.